time. The rules are as follow. Two competitors will start with 10 competitors in total. Every one minute, a new competitor will enter the ring. You must throw your opponent over the top rope to eliminate them. Now, at the end of the 10 minute mark, if there is no distinct winner, the remaining competitors will go on in a traditional match and compete, where the winner of that match will receive a guaranteed shot at the Texas Contender Series Championship. You got now, it. Who's ready for the Turbo Rumble? I am. We are. I it's, love the Turbo it's Rumble. It's Turbo time here in Premier Arena. Who's number one? Oh, my. The man from Planet Dread. A former New, New Texas Pro Contender Series champion. From Planet Dread, he is the Pineapple Lord, Kenny Calypso! Kenny Calypso, entrant number one. Dan is going to have to go the distance if he's going to get an opportunity to win back that Contender Series championship that he won back and watched the throne and only held it for a total of four days. You know that has to be eating at the man from Planet Tread. Hey, listen, Kenny Calypso has been crying and moaning and bitching and complaining for months. He wants a title shot. I want gold. I'm Kenny Calypso. I'll challenge for any belt. I'll get a tag team partner. I'll chat. Oh, but we didn't win the tournament. Oh, I'm going to beat Texas Contender Series champion. Oh, but he loses it in four days. Now he has an opportunity to win the Turbo Rumble. And I'm sure if he doesn't win the Turbo Rumble, he's going to bitch and complain again and again and again. Well, tell me how you really feel. I just told you. You want me to say it again? You already heard no, it. No, you're good. Oh, wow. A member of the eighth day. Who's A this? member of the eighth day now. Entrant number two. Who could it be? Oh, wow. It's Sean Hendricks. Entering at number two, representing the eighth day, he is the great miracle, Sean Hendricks. We got another new Texas, Texas Contender Series champion, the first Texas Contender Series champion, the great miracle, Sean Hendricks. Wow, what a way to start off this Turbo Rumble with two former Contender Series champions. And Dan, I'm gonna ask you this, what kind of condition is Sean Hendricks in after taking that spear from Jay Davis in that TCS Championship match earlier tonight? Well, you know, he didn't have a lot of time to uh, heal up in the back. I'm sure he's gotta be sore. A spear from Jay Davis is no joke. Absolutely not. And to come in at number two, not the first time. Oh. Well, the bell has rung. And the timer has started. We got 60 seconds for number three. Every 60 seconds, a new competitor comes in. It's a 10 minute time limit. And shots and fired. Go. These two individuals know what's on the line. Whoa! Big drop kick from the Pineapple Lord. A drop kick ain't gonna win you a rumble. Might nope. get you close though. Oh, but that chop could have sent Sean Hendricks over the top rope. Remember, both feet have to hit the floor for an elimination to occur. As Sean Hendricks with a back elbow to Kinney. Now trying to toss him over the top rope. Kenny hanging over. Whoa. Well, Kenny's gone. Kenny is hanging on. And you got to wonder what the purpose. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got oh, a countdown. The timer is now down at six. My goodness. See, fast and furious. Three. Only 60 seconds on the clock, folks. Who's at number three? 
Oh my goodness, this is Jay Pierce. Oh no. One half of the Southside Connection. Avert your gaze. Entering at number three, Jay Pierce. Well, we've seen this individual in action before in these Turbo Rumbles, back when he was known as James Lightning off the top rope. Shotgun drop kick taken down Hendrix. We know that Jay Pierce is a very credible competitor in these Rumble matches. As you see, he comes in and takes both competitors out right at the start, dusting his shoes off, now picking up Kenny and slamming him down with a Falcon Arrow. My goodness, Jay Pierce standing tall. Head of steam, big splash under Sean Hendricks. Fireman's carry now. Up and, oh my oh, goodness, Yuji across Garoshi. the knee. The Yuji Garoshi right on the back of the neck of Sean Hendricks, goodness. Jay Pierce making an impactful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, now trying to get an elimination. Hendricks on the ropes, we got another countdown. It's already 60 seconds coming to a close, my goodness. Number four, oh wow. Entering at number four, Calico. Calico, we haven't seen Calico since the last Super Texas Contender Series, making his return here in this Turbo Rumble match as well. Now off the top rope. What? Quick like a cat off the top rope. Ducking that line, Calico. Oh, tilt the world heads and is taking down Pierce. Calico is on fire. Oh, rolling through off the top rope, connecting with a forearm to Jay Pierce and now has Hendricks in the corner. Oh, combination bulldog clothesline by Calico, my goodness. I have never seen this fire out of Calico. Uh, Kenny Calypso impressed. I'm sure he wants no part of that. Stepping I guess he does aside. want a part of it. Calico off the ropes, ducking that line and now taking Kenny over with those legs. And now once again, that timer counting down. Calico with a huge arm drag. At number five, it's the X-Man. Axe Manson is at number five in the Turbo Rumble. Remember, Axe Handle. Opportunity. Axe Handle. At the Texas Contender Series Championship, Axe Manson wants some of that, and now the flannel comes off. And this crowd has come unglued for the Axe Man. An Axe Splash in the corner on Pierce, an Axe Splash on Kenny. Big clothesline to the Calico Cat in the corner, and now the Great Miracle gets a clothesline as well. Oh, big black hole slam. And this ring is filling up. Axe Manson coming in. A no elimination so far. And chopping Calico Cat, much like he's chopped down the competition thus far in this Turbo Rumble. Oh, Dan, we're at number six now. Oh, another member of the eighth another day. One. This is the Guardian Entering now. At number six, the Guardian. At number six, the Guardian. This could very well be one of the favorites to win the whole thing here. And the Guardian oh, 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 oh. has arrived. Here we go. Look at this. That's a big man matchup right now. Hell yeah. That's an ax and a big redwood right there in the center of the ring. But ax, not effective with that, uh, that handle right there. Neither for the Guardian. These two huge trees, a sequoia and a redwood, if you will. This is what it's all about, folks. Off the ropes goes Manson. Oh, followed up by the Guardian. Close line, Manson over the top Alex rope. Manson has been eliminated. Jay Pierce working on Hendricks, and now Kenny trying to jump onto the Guardian. Jay Pierce coming to help out that, and a big shot. 
from the Guardian sends Kenny away. A discus forearm by Pierce. Calico working on Hendricks in the corner. Oh, Jay Pierce looking for a flying crossbody. Got caught. Backbreaker right there. Calico in what? the corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Guardian just tossed. Jay Pierce has Guardian. been eliminated. Oh, what? my goodness. The Guardian just Whoa. pounced. Calico, Calico has been eliminated. Calico got pounced over the top rope. My goodness. Did you see that pounce? That was amazing. We're counting back down. We got someone well, else Sean coming Sean Hendricks out. better thank the Guardian for saving him from the Calico Cat right there. And now, Jackpot J. Rock. Number seven, the Jackpot J. Rock. Well, jackpot heading to the high rent district. Oh, crossbody. Awkwardly connecting with Sean Hendricks. Off the ropes goes Hendricks. J-Rock picks him up and slams him down with a spine buster. J-Rock coming in and making an impact. There's the big gamble paid off right there, but it got chopped down by the Guardian. My gosh. Hey, he's just trying to win a match, guys. In an important match. Hey, it makes you think, what is the purpose of the eighth day in this match? You know, right That's now, we, very got, good question. we got Hendrix, we got the Guardian. You got to think that Father Ode wants these guys in this match so he can be protected. Well, right now, the right? eighth day in control. He could very well be right, Dan. An eighth member winning this matchup secures the championship within the realm of the eighth day. And Ronan Reyes. Entering at number nine, Ronan Reyes. Ronan Reyes told me before the show here tonight looking to be the, not forgotten, but really quickly. And Ronan Reyes, Ronan Reyes goes over the top rope, courtesy of Jackpot J-Rock. And J-Rock skins the cat and comes back into the ring. And Ronan Reyes beside himself with the official, pleading with the official to let him in, but he has been eliminated very quickly. Dan, that might be a Turbo Rumble record for an elimination for Ronan Reyes. Oh, Sean Hendricks looking for the kick right there to the corner. J-Rock though going to work. Double knees on Sean Hendricks as the Guardian continues to lay weights on Kenny. And Sean Hendricks connects with a kick to the chin on Jackpot. Oh, Kenny in a bad spot right now. As he's hanging over the top rope and now hanging on for dear life onto that bottom rope. Hendricks with a back elbow to the head of J-Rock. As the countdown continues. Out of five, we are at number nine, entrant number nine. Oh my goodness. It's Holy Roger. Entering at number nine, Holy Roger Vick. Three members of the eighth day now in the Turbo Rumble. Bad Paradox connecting on J-Rock as Holy Roger now. One of three members of 8th Day in this Turbo Rumble match. My goodness, now Roger and Hendricks working together to eliminate J-Rock. J-Rock has been eliminated. Holy As Roger number nine, which means there is only one more competitor to enter themselves into the Turbo a, Rumble. It's basically a three-on-one advantage for Kenny right now at this point. My goodness, Kenny has the cards stacked up against him now being picked up by the Guardian and slammed into the center of the ring. It's a three on one assault on Kenny Calypso. And now and here's Sean the Hendricks' turn. My goodness, Kenny Calypso needs some help. Kenny Calypso desperately needs some help right now. Oh my, and he's gonna get it from his tag team partner. Just Nick! Just Nick at number 10 coming in to the aid of Kenny in some way and now is cleaning house and now standing tall. The two minute timer has begun, ladies and gentlemen. There's two minutes left in this matchup. 
Guardian breaks up, oh. Oh, double and line. connects with a double clothesline at the end of the two minute timer. The match is over and whomever is left in the ring will compete in a match, in a traditional wrestling match, unless one competitor is left standing before the two minutes go up. We could have, we could have a one, two, three, four, five way. Oh, Kenny has the Guardian. In a bad spot, Nick coming in to help. Throw the legs over. The Guardian has been eliminated. The Guardian has the been eliminated. Guardian and Kenny Calypso has been eliminated. The Guardian is out. out. And now Sean Hendricks on the ropes. We know the history between Sean Hendricks and Nick. The two men to first hold that championship, the Texas Contender Series Championship, that is up for grabs to be the number one challenger at the end of this match. And Roger coming in. Low bridge by Nick. Roger's on the other side on the apron. And now Nick with a spin kick sends Roger Connie to the Roger mat. Roger Vick has been eliminated. We're at 45 seconds. At 40, 40 seconds left. Sean Hendricks, just Nick going back and forth. Trade and blows. The two former champions both won an opportunity back at that championship. Big drop kick. I think Hendricks just wants to protect Ode. Well, Nick trying to send Hendricks over the top rope, but there's a shot right there. There's Big clothesline. Another one by Nick. Hendricks, Nick giving a clothesline back and forth. Oh, this clothesline, Sean Hendricks is in. He's Sean out. Sean Hendricks has been eliminated. Just Nick. And Just here Nick. is your winner of the fifth ever Turbo Rumble, Just Nick. Just Nick is going to get his rematch. Just Nick's coming back for his belt. Just Nick, who unjustly lost the Texas Contender Series Championship at the hands of Father O'Day, now has put him in place to be the number one contender and get that opportunity once again and get some retribution at the hands of the eighth day. Kenny Calypso just looks There you happy. see Kenny Calypso, a little bit of a look of frustration on his face. And we know Kenny was hoping to get another opportunity at championship gold there. But you got to believe that Kenny is happy for his tag team partner. Challenge has been issued. Nick wants his shot on June 23rd at Campbell Hall. Maybe Ode doesn't want to say anything. Where he at? Oh, maybe he does. Dan, it looks like we're going to get an answer to the challenge that has just been laid out by the new number one contender. There you see the champion. Nick, you are hell-bent and so obsessed with 
with your own destruction, then I'll happily give you what you want. So a Texas Indie Showcase 4, it will be just Nick versus a walking blessing. It will be just Nick versus Father Ode for the Texas Contender Series Championship. Well, Father Ode seemingly accepting the challenge that has been laid out. But under one condition that we make it a throw in a towel match. A what? So Nick, anything goes. Anything goes and the only way you can lose is if the person you hey, shoot. I don't give a damn what the stipulation is. I don't give a damn who in the match. You can be for any universe, any planet, any galaxy. Just they can take you on. You put your guy on mine. I got my guy Kenny. We gonna be there. You're gonna cut me off. You're gonna cut off father when he's talking. Nick, the only way to lose is if your partner throws in the towel, which is why I'm choosing my right hand man, the great miracle, Sean Henry. Oh, wow. So I didn't need showcase my brother. And I want you to listen. I want all of you. Shut the hell up! He is not your brother! He's my brother! And if you think for a second that I'm throwing in the towel, you are sadly mistaken! Nick, bring that bill home! Well, Kenny Calypso and just Nick, just vibing, making it clear that there is no way in hell that. Father Ode is going to leave Campbell Hall with that championship. And Father Ode being held back by the rest of the eighth day. As Just Vibin standing tall here right after the Turbo Rumble. And Dan, we already had a very stacked show going into Texas Indy Showcase 4. There you see on your screen, Sunday, June 23rd at Campbell Hall. We have just added a Texas Contender Series Championship, a first here, a throw in the towel match, where the only way to lose is with your partner in your corner throws in the towel on your behalf. My goodness, what could we possibly see in that matchup, Dan? Well, I, these two are as thick as thieves. Do you think Kenny Calypso's gonna throw in the towel for Nick? Yeah, we see it. I don't, I don't believe so. And we Kenny has already Sean, said it. We saw with Sean Hendricks earlier tonight. Do you think he's taking spears now, from Jay Davis? For this Is he going to throw?